Well, hello YouTube. Captain Dave on the dumb phone here. Don't use, usually use the old dumb phone, but I can't suppress this. I usually suppress this topic because I don't believe many of you really care, but I do because I'm the master of maintenance. At least I try to be with my pocketbook. And what you're looking at is a Mr. Filter with, I've done many videos of this before. I'm constantly reiterating myself, but that right there is like, I don't know, a two micron or five micron filter. And this is what I put all my gas through. And as you can see over there, see those jerry cans? That's how I put my gas in. Well, everybody says, oh, your jerry cans are dirty. Oh, this and that. No, they're not. They get used for one purpose only. And that is to put boat fuel in. They're not dirty. They're not nothing. But look at the bottom here. I'm trying to get the, can the shadow out. Look at the bottom of this. Look at that garbage that's in this fuel. I mean, let's put it this way. Who are you going to believe? Somebody who sees this all the time? Or you're going to believe that they're changing out those filters all the time at the gas station? It's not like, you know, basically anymore, don't, don't trust stuff. You know, have redundancy measures set up. I used to take this filter, this filter here, to the gas station and run the nozzle through it. And I came up with the exact same crap in my fuel. This will show water at the bottom. Now I'm looking, I don't see any water, thank goodness. All right, because this is non-ethanol. This is the stuff that right now is running through my boat, my, my Suzuki 250, and cost more than diesel. Oh, but I'm not allowed to go up on my charter rates or I'll just be out of business. <laughs> I mean, it's such a freaking goddamn catch-22. But look at this. And unfortunately, yes, I run a diesel truck and I do not run ethanol through a brand new tank in my boat that's never seen ethanol. And I don't run ethanol through this 250 Suzuki or this Merc 15 Pro Kicker. These never seen ethanol. And I'm just not doing it. I'm just not doing it. So, if you don't have one of these Mr. Funnels, I have them on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. Link below in the video description. Always, always, there's a link. I would really highly recommend. In this day and age, man, don't trust nothing. All this is going to do is it's going to go into your fuel water separator, fuel filter, clog that up. But who knows? Don't trust it. And then, of course, you've got your filters underneath your cowling. But me, I'm into stopping the situation before it starts. You know? Stop the situation before it starts. Look at that chunk of whatever is down there. Unbelievable. Little bits of metal. And I mean, I keep this funnel upside down and covered at all times. So I just wanted to do a short little video about this. Having the Mr. Funnel. Look Mr. Funnel up. John Graviscus has the rep on his on his channel an old old video and he'll show you how that screen down there is so micro fine 
It doesn't let water through. And many times it won't even let additives through. If you're adding additives into your, into your fuel for whatever reason, into your lawnmower, your tractor, your boat, your snowmobile, whatever it is, sometimes it won't even let the additives through because that screen is so fine. So this is Captain Dave Sport Fishing, Jacksonville, Florida with just one of the many FYIs about something like this that is just first line of defense. It even says in here, right there, it says, caution, additives or chemicals may cause water to pass through filter. Oh, that's another one of the big deals, yeah. It can get with the water and make the water go through. But normally, if there's water at the bottom of this thing, let me tell you how it catches it. It catches it big time. So there you go. Okay, I'm not beating a dead horse here. I've got all kinds of videos about this floating on YouTube out of about the 900 videos that I got. So I'm done. Come on!